Hello my friends and welcome, it is wonderful to have you here. I am Morjax, we are continuing our Let's Play of The Walking Dead. We've arrived at the St. John Dairy Ranch, and uh, I felt like last episode at the end it was too good to be true, so we're going to see what we can find out here. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Okay, let's look at the fence here. Hmm. Pointy. It is pointy. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Yes. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. That's true. It would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Yes. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. That's true, that's true. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. We do need food, but I don't know. Let's take a look at the broken swing. They just, I mean, maybe they're just like super like... Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? How long has it been you? How did it break? How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I think it behooves us to be, uh, kind. I, I just have, like, a feeling that... I don't know. They might just be really... They might just be really generous and like. This dairy won a lot of ribbons welcoming. in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day. The world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Fair enough, fair enough. Shoe bucket. This rope is perfect for the swing. Do we grab it? Okay. Let us continue investigating. Fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Looks amazing. How many rooms? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Looks custom built. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Place looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Family's done it really an amazing does. job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to your staff? What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. 
When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, <laughs> you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andrew. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. <coughs> but don't tell him I said that. Okay. <laughs> well, if anything comes up I that won't. I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay. That's that. And uh, now we're going to go fix the swing, I guess. Seems awfully quiet here. Where do they put the bodies? I wonder. I just wonder about these. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Nailed it. Man, I wish I could cut through a board in three strokes. Whoa, you just stuck that in your pants? <laughs> Is that a board in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me, Lee? I don't even know where he's keeping the rope. Or the fire axe. He's got, uh, Duluth Trading Company pants. Alright, let's go ahead right here. All right. Fix up this the old swing. Too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully, our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness! Did you do that? Just trying to help do out that? around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I mean, electric fence is better than no fence. And if we run out of gas, then... We can just build a normal fence. Hey. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay. Take a gander at the generator. Generator? You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. All right, fair enough. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Um, how many weapons do you have? We could help yeah, protect the dairy. Some extra people to protect I the guess dairy, that was the best option of the three. Hopefully, it'll never come to that, but thanks. Fence stops the walkers. Are we your first guests? Let's go fix the perimeter. Um, are we your first guests? We guess? can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Fence stops walkers. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? Is that what you call them? That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mark right. and I can help you Let's with go that fix. perimeter now. Oh, fix good. It up. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Which way's north? You said northwest corner. Here we go.
Mm -hmm. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but it is. let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Um, we'll work it out. Try to be civil. I try at least. to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. I think that's true. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Right. Take that arrow. Disgusting. Let's push him off. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Useless without gas. Needs people to defend it. It is useless, useless without gas. useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. They do. Um... What, do you, what mean? do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Okay. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Yeah, fence is kind of crookedy. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. I don't really want to use the axe on the... You never get used to the smell, do you? Yeah. Glad <laughs> nope. we didn't damage the fence. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go Christ. back. I can't the stop thinking pole was about dinner. angled. It's Would not been nice secure. to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Um, I'm hungry too. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? I do. If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Ooh, dang, Come look on. at this. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here. Okay. Let's jump up and over. Q. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ow. What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Where's our food, you asshole? Okay, let's look over here. The blades are stuck in the dirt. Get closer! Shit! Did you really think you'd fuck with us? All right, grab this. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Time to go. Sit the house. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Okay. Don't lure me into the open. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move. Okay. Where Away we go. 
All right, so these are, I think, the raiders. Oh, the body. Okay. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? One of these is gonna be a live one. Yup. Getting shot at, getting zambied. Uh, give me my arm back, you suck a gun. You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh, thanks, guys. Let's get out of here. Don't leave the gate open. <laughs> Don't leave the gate open. Oh, it's bad. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fest. It was an ambush. It was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy oh, wait, no, wait, shit! Don't, I don't want to blame Are you. Them. Okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Also, the hey, gate's open. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, no, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I the gate's still open. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It isn't as safe. It was a fluke. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor end. That's true. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? Yes, They're right near the open down, gate in I the fence. I think I know where at least one of their camps are. <laughs> When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think so. all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal Fair with enough. Bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Kids are so Thanks, cute. Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So here's the thing. There's... Like, we kick the gate open. Is there... Why can't the... Flippin' bandits just kick the gate open and come right in? Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. How you holding up? Lily doesn't want to be here. Your family made it here, okay? How you, hold How up? you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, 
But I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Uh, your family Did made Duck it okay. Did Duck and Patrick get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. Hmm. Um, I don't really want to talk about Lily with around. him, because they don't like each other. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Okay, let's talk with, um, Clementine. See what she says. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Yes, sure. I will do that. Push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Um, what do you think? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How, how are you doing, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. It have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, That's we have to make the plan. sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Um, I don't want to get her hopes all up right, saying That's we're safe. For now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Electric fence, picket fence, generator, gate, outlet, gas cans, empty. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Oh. Someone could just reach in and grab that crap. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Hey, pile. Hey. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Got corn going on over there. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Hey, Lily. Don't really want to talk to Lee. Larry. Oh my but... god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? They'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Take it you and Kenny haven't made up. Feel about leaving the motor in. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow <sighs> in his shoulder. And we would have starved to death. About your dad? I don't know how that's gonna... Oh my gosh, look at Larry! His eyes are rolled back in his head. Um... About your dad, I guess. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Um. Dot to dot. I don't like any of those choices. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just. He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost. Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. 
Don't judge me for sticking by him. I'm not. He's my dad. And I love him. That's fair. All right. Um, do you think this was a good idea? Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? I'd like to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. <clears throat> But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader. Um... You're a good leader, Lover. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. She is a good leader. I I hate that it, it doesn't always say what I mean to say. Like, I pick the option and I say something that is not what I expected. Hey, Bills, we got food for a little while. Let's take a gander. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for Merrill's, if that becomes a problem. Okay, let's take a gander. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Okay. Now, I can't help but wonder, we didn't go into there and, and the mom said that there's something going on with the cow. I wonder if it's a zombie cow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I think that might be a little far-fetched, but... Alright, up we go. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Um... Yes, I think I am. However, I think I'm going to be leaving that until the next episode. So thank you very much, my friends, for watching. I hope you're enjoying uh, The Walking Dead so far. We'll see how it goes. It could be pretty dangerous to go out to the um, to the bandit camp, but I mean, obviously, it's kind of a story storyline post that we need to deal with them. We need to deal with them because they could just like come mess up our stuff. So that will be next episode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. To get email notifications for all my episodes, hit subscribe, then the gear button, tick the checkbox and hit save.